That's the whole key is just really feeling exactly what's going on and reacting to it. You know, remember in your fishing circle hooks, you're not gonna swing back. These VMC circle hooks, the sure set circles are gonna get them in the corner of the mouth every time. And I could just lift up and feel that weight bouncing. These fish live in the mud. They burrow head first and they make these little conical shaped, almost like huts, I guess we'll call them. And they won't come too far off the bottom. They'll only come a couple of feet off the bottom to grab a prey item. May it be a shrimp, crab, eels, uh, you know, little fish, of course, squid. So if your rig, if your bait's presented more than a few feet off the bottom, you're never gonna get them. You gotta literally give it, there's one right there. That's the one I was looking for right there. Yep, yeah, yeah, right there. <sighs> And that's it, once you hook them, you just turn the handle a couple times, get tight, and just slowly start coercing them up off the bottom. Yeah, he's digging. I'll tell you, I can't get over how sensitive that braid is. You can feel every beat of the tail, every shake of the head from more than a football field and a half away. You get down there, it's not long before you get a bite, and that's really the way tile fishing is. It's either on, or it's off. And if you find where they live, it's usually on as long as the conditions allow you to achieve a good presentation. Oh yeah, look at him shaking. Come on, baby, come on. Oh yeah, he's coming. But it's not a bad one, that's for sure.